Hey guys, I'm Lung Pamai. Welcome back to VBA A to Z. In our previous videos, you've learned how to create custom forms, fills with watermarks, add special effects to controls, and also learn how to create and use autocomplete suggestion fields. To continue our series, we'll start building a real-life application with a goal to show you how to build an application from start to end. The idea of this application will be to record and report business expenses. To give a small example, employee or user can submit an expense for team lunch or routing, for business trip, etc. And respective managers and approvers will act upon. This app will include custom forms like dynamic menu, input forms, custom tables, dashboard, reporting features, approval workflow, and so on. So along with designing, you will also learn how to write codes to store and use them for dashboard and reporting. As we progress, we'll keep adding features to make it very realistic. If you missed our prior videos, please find them from UI slash UX playlist in this channel. As always, project files and source codes are made 100% free for download and use. The only request from you is to support my channel so that I can keep sharing all these useful videos. So before we begin, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. First, let me show you how to create a form like this or replicate this current form for yourself. All groundwork has been completed, so you just need to know where to look for to update before i start showing you how i created this form let's take a step back and look at the form that we used in our prior video uh, let me load this up so if you look at this menu this menu is quite simple because it has an icon with the same background irrespective of when you click on it or when you do not click on it so let's say i click on this menu the background still remains the same remains the same and so on this does that this this particular icon keeps on changing here just to point that okay you are in this particular menu at the moment the form that we're creating now it's a more more advanced one i would say i've already done all the groundwork so you can easily replicate them let me load this up so first the form background it you can see it's a, it is a like a mountain behind it with the snow okay and this menu as you hover on it you can see it you know like highlights the menu that you're on it and once you click on it so if you observe this once you click on this menu the background of this particular icon also change so as you click on it the icon in, uh, you know like the background of this icon have changed similarly as you click on it uh, the background changes accordingly and the caption color also changes to white from black so let me quickly show you how i did this first are uh, the resources this is this is the ba basic set collection that i'm using for this uh, application menu what I did was first I downloaded all these icons in blue color background and then the second one in the in the bright like this white one first you, you already know like once you go here you can set the RGB background color for this so similarly if you go here the form color is using something like this and then once I download all this set once you set the background color you can download for all of them you know like it gets pre-filled again let's say I download this once I go back here, it does not change. So whatever you fill the background, it will still remain. So you can download it for all this set. Once you're done, you can do it for the brighter color, something like this. And then you can start downloading again for all this set. So that's how I did two sets of, back, uh, you know, like same icon, two sets, okay, in different background. Now the second one for the background, I searched uh, from this Pixabay. I went to this side and I downloaded um, something like uh, like this, okay, a mountain. So I'm just gonna close this. So I've, after I did that, I uh, like we did in our prior video, but uh, with uh, you know like um, some you know like advanced features that I'm trying to create here is like a menu separator here with a shadow. So basically, I added a shape, I inserted the shape into a PowerPoint, and then I put the color of this particular background to 238, 238, 238 for RGB right and then similarly I added another uh, you know like shape again here with that the only thing I did here for this particular shape is that I went to the effects shape effects and I put the shadow you know like outer shadow number two here so basically that's what I did and then I imported the image that I downloaded I put it at the background like this and once I put the image at the background I set the transparency level, I think, to 3% like this for both of them. So transparency level 4% for menu and then for the for the body, I just put it 3%. So once I did that, 
obviously I did not put all this, these are just for reference, I have to play around here just to see that it will work out once I import it to the user form. So here I try to, you know, like uh, this is the blue background color codes, exact color codes that I'm using for this particular application. Once I did this, I exported this in full HD. Uh, if you're not aware of this, I'll do another video uh, to export this, uh, you know, like image from the slide to in full HD or 4K, whatever you format you need. So after I export that image, uh, after I create this, you know, like the canvas, the form layout that I need, I exported this as an image and then I imported this to my form here. Because if we do not create in this manner, uh, if we insert, for an example, if you insert a menu like this with the with label and you try to put a color, let's say something like this, right? So it does not give us a, like a shadow, uh, you know, like separator. So that's why I have to do this in this fashion, okay? Talking about the menu, again, like once you click on it, you know, like the these changes. So I already set this uh, for you. So you don't have to, you know, like write a code again for this. Let me quickly show you how to replicate this or add a new menu for yourself. Let's say that uh, we want to add a new menu. You can just make a copy of any of this menu like this, like this. Okay. And there are a couple of things that you need to note here is like the name of this uh, menu caption and the image are related okay so if you see here it's m settings if you click on the caption it's m settings underscore caption and if you click on the image it's m settings underscore image so whatever name you put you need to suffix it with uh for image with img and then for the the font with the caption okay now let's do this let's call this let's say we want to add a new menu called reports like this So let's call this by name. Uh, I'll just put M just so that I know this is menu. So it's easier for us later on if we have to find it from there, from the drop down. So we'll call this M reports. This will be M reports underscore caption. This will be M reports underscore uh, IMG image. Let's put this in between these two menu like this. Okay, so if I load this form now, it's going to give an error that, you know, like the file is not found. We have to point, you know, like where the icon for this particular image is located, for this menu is located. So if I go to icons folder, there will be normal and blue folder. So here is where I need to point. So let's say that we want to use this, this particular bar chart as an icon for reports. You just need to name this exactly as the name of the menu. Okay, like this. You need to name the image name as the name of the menu. So similarly, you'll go to the normal folder and you name it um, with the same name like this, M reports. okay? When it clicks on it, it will pick up the icon from the blue folder. When it's not clicked, it will pick up the folder from the normal folder, okay? Icon folder. So going back to the form, if you load this up now, you'll see that it have, you know, like assign an icon automatically for reports with the one that we set it up and once you click on it the the icon changes to blue background once you go a step away from there it changes back to uh, the normal color so this is uh, how you can set up uh, a dynamic menu for yourself let's say that you have to uh, instead of making this blue color you want to make it to another color you can find this from the controls reset so if you go here this is where basically this is the code that takes care of menu update when you click on it so it goes and find out what is the image what is the caption like this and then coming down here it sets the caption for color to white color when you click on it if you don't click on it it changes to the black color so this is where you can manipulate all the phone colors um and then the part here as well it's already you know like wherever the workbook is wherever the project is located it's gonna find that folder so this folder and these files needs to be in the same folder you know like you don't have to specify exactly with a static name okay so here is the background the blue i've set this to blue color if you want this to be something else this is where you'll specify the uh the color codes for uh, the background of the menu when click and let's say that uh, the hover that uh, when you hover on it currently it's showing us for an example the color code of this which is very similar to the background of the form so let's say that you want to make it more uh, 
you know like visible you can change it to more intense gray color for an example so if I go back here and load this so you can make it more you know like visible like this as well it's so it's totally up to you how you want to do it in our prior videos uh, menu what we the effects that we use was like each special effect is but here I'm not using a special effect rather I'm using the color of that menu so once you hover on it the color change in our next video we'll start creating input forms within the application to collect data from users and store them in tables if you found this video informative please leave a like and a comment it will mean a lot I'll see you in our next video. Thanks for your support. Bye-bye.